top of the afternoon, it's like a fet. I don't read think pieces anymore. Because most think pieces are just rethink pieces. They're the same regurgitated perspective and idea that people have had for decades and generations that never really pushed the needle on social culture. I saw a tweet from this dude named David Dennis Jr. I wrote this 18, eight, I wrote this 18 months ago about Jay-Z not being able to adapt to a world that don't rock with billionaires like that anymore. And last night proved that point again. I don't know what happened last night. I'll, I don't care. Um, and I went to his piece, the, billion, the Billionaires Lament, How the World Changed Around Jay-Z. His three comma aspirations inspired millions, but what now when billionaires are on the fire? Most articles, I kind of just go down to the comments. And I go to the comments because comments represent the pulse of our society, right? There, we, we, all, we understand that there are intellectuals. We understand that there are people who think differently or who believe they think differently. But the comments really designate how people react to ideas and they allow us to be aware of the pulse of a nation, of a culture, of a society. Black capitalism won't save black people. More specifically, black capitalists won't save black people. Thank you. You finally go all out and disclosing yourself as a racially biased communist. Okay. Excellent article. I feel like hip hop lost me when it shifted to the corporate mentality. I still prefer Boogie Down Productions, right? People stuck in the past of the past. <laughs> I talked about the A1 video previously, right? People love the past, what what could have been, what should have been, what once was. And staying in the past is what allows you to stay stuck in your life situations. I talk about life limitations all the time. So the question is, has the black experience really lived under capitalism? I know this, the other side of this, right? Majority of people hate capitalism. Um, I think most people who dislike capitalism are people who, uh, it's, it's layered. I'll say like that, it's layered. But as I say, it's a game, it's a system, and you utilize the system to your well-being as you see fit. And if you don't utilize the system, if you don't play the game, if you don't find a way to balance playing the game with honoring yourself and living how you want to live, then there's nothing for you within the system and you will forever be oppressed. The Atlantic slave trade brought what would become black people into the Western Hemisphere under the oppression of capitalism, right? That's a fact that I believe. And since then, right, the entire system was founded on oppressive capitalism, not capitalism defined within itself. Capitalism within itself is value for value, equal fair trade. As I've, I've said this before, you know, it's, it's never the system, the system it's just it's just a name it's just it, it just exists it's the people who live within the system it's the financial system and the political system that is supposed to be aligned and keep the that's supposed to keep the financial system in check but this doesn't happen for plenty of reasons right i blame i always blame the individuals i blame society because we in mass don't really show up to invoke change um, but also like i say it's difficult it's a difficult game because of influence and media conditioning i'm reading post-traumatic slave syndrome by dr joy de um and she's going over the history of the black experience most more specifically within the united states and reading about greenwood black wall street a community that was striving how did black wall street thrive could it be capitalism right could it be that once you remove the oppression oppressive nature of capitalism once you remove the negative influence, the lack of culture that the American capitalistic system really invokes within our society, that there is room to thrive. So those are my two questions. Has the black experience really lived underneath true value for value capitalism? And what allowed Black Wall Street to thrive if not true capitalism, true value for value minus the oppression? So I got peace.